Hello and welcome to the fifth module in the course where we are learning about business strategy. We have already went through quite a lot. We were discussing strategic capabilities of organizations, we were discussing environment that is surrounding the organization. Then in the third module we tackled some business strategies. In the fourth module we tackled some corporate level strategies. Now I think to uh, continue in this course, I think it will be appropriate to discuss innovation. Innovation is simply necessary in nowadays world and if you would like to operate business sustainably, you will need to innovate. Now, I see a lot of in misconceptions about innovation. Usually when, when people say innovation, they think about technological innovation, thinking about some new technologies, uh, finding out new ways of doing things. Well. It's way more simple from my perspective. Every company should innovate. I mean, innovation could be internal. You can change the things that you do and do them differently. And this you can consider somewhat an innovation if this process gets improved. Well, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's get to the definition of innovation. Innovation involves the conversion of new knowledge into a new product, process, a service, and the putting of this new product, process or service into actual use. So you see, there is nothing about technology. Of course, we have products and services, which are two things that are thinly connected with the technology, but you can innovate on a much more basic level than what we usually think about. And that's why it is so important to learn about innovation if we are thinking about any kind of business strategy. It should be part of our everyday lives if we are the business developer or the entrepreneur. Now, in this module, we are going to touch upon three main points. First of all, we are going to think about innovation dilemmas because it's not so straightforward to say, hey, I'm going to innovate. No, there are certain dilemmas that you have to answer. Then secondly, we will think about innovation diffusion. So that how does an innovation spread throughout the company, how does it spread throughout the market, and so on and so on. Now, finally, we will talk about innovators and followers. Is it really worth it to be the innovator all the time? Or maybe it's more viable to be the follower and just watch the innovations of others. Both of these strategies can be viable, and that's exactly what we are going to talk about. So I'm looking forward to see you in this module.